topic of today's lecture is most differential amplifier with current mirror as load you know in case of differential amplifier we always prefer to use active loads as compared to uh, passive loads and we know what are its advantages it saves lot of surface area on silicon because it occupies less area and that area can be used to fabricate new devices or to to implement uh, new functionality on the silicon and uh, okay so in today's uh, lecture we are going to cover these topics we will see active load configurations you already know about them then we will discuss uh, circuit operation if we use a uh, current mirror as load in case of differential amplifier we will see what is the output voltage swing means uh, uh, the maximum output voltage and minimum output voltage we will consider uh, the conditions for differential input signal to be applied we will draw its equivalent circuit to find out voltage gain and input output resistance and then we will summarize our discussion active load configurations you already know that uh, there are three possible active load con uh, configurations one is diode connected load and uh, you have seen that in case of diode connected load the differential gain of the amplifier is given by this equation right so there is parallel combination of these three resistances this is the resistance offered by m1 and r03 is the drain source resistance of this device and 1 by gm3 is the conductance offered by this m3 device and when we uh, take its single ended output uh, the gain becomes half of the differential output gain so you see it's 1 by 2 here in the same way if you use current sources as load then the gain equations are given like this so you can clearly see from here that the gain has increased as compared to direct connected load but if we take single ended output single ended output means if we take uh, output from one side only and in that case uh, the differential gain uh, sorry uh, the single ended output gain is given by this equation so it's half that of uh, differential output gain right and in today's lecture we are going to focus on this particular configuration and here you can see current mirror this is current mirror configuration this configuration is used as a load and the interesting thing here is that uh, the output which we take is a single ended output only in these configurations it was possible to take uh, differential output means we take output at two nodes and then you find out difference of uh, these two outputs but here the circuit is not symmetrical circuit so we have uh, we have to take out only from one side and uh, that way it is single ended output configuration but interesting thing which you will see here is that even the single ended output configuration will not compromise with the gain so in these configurations when we were uh, going for single ended output the gain was reducing it was becoming half of the differential output gain it was the situation in both these configurations but here you will see at the end of this lecture that it is possible to take single ended output uh, without any loss of gain. Now I will see circuit operation of this particular configuration. Uh, okay, so this is the circuit, and uh, you can see that uh, uh, in this current mirror configuration, this device M3 here, its gate is connected to drain, right? And uh, uh, this is acting as a current source whose bias is supplied by this device so anyway so if it is zero signal condition in that case what happens we will see now we know that uh, m1 and m2 are matched devices and so they both carry same current and this current in this device is half of the current which is flowing here in the same way the current in this branch is half of the current in this one so both these devices carry same current because they are exactly matched devices now this device and this device these two devices are connected so what is 
so whatever amount of current is flowing in this uh, device the same amount of current will flow through m3 right now this current of m3 is mirrored into m4 because this is i uh, current mirror configuration and you know in case of current mirror so the current which is flowing here in this branch that current is mirrored into the m4 and the current in this branch is equal to current in this branch so the current of m1 is mirrored through this configuration to m4 so the current in m1 and m4 is always same so we can say that in case of zero signal condition right means when there is no differential input signal applied in that case this current in, in this branch id1 is equal to id4 right and uh, this current is also equal to uh, to this so this is two here it's uh, mistake it's two here right so id1 is equal to id2 that is equal to id3 and equal to id4 so all the currents are equal and we can say that okay this this is equal to id right and this id is half of the current flowing through this branch now uh, so the current in m2 and m4 is same right m id2 and id4 is same in this zero signal condition you can see id2 is equal to id4 so these currents will balanced out and the current at this output node is zero so right so you can apply kirchhoff's current law here if these two currents are same the current at this output node is zero no current is going to the output side right and from this circuit you can also see one important thing that uh, the circuit is not symmetrical circuit so till now uh, whatever configuration we have considered so this load here and load here was exactly similar so if you use a resistive load this resistance and this resistance was same if we are using diode connected load so this uh, device was uh, uh, configured like uh, its drain was connected to gate and in same was happening with this device so it was a symmetrical arrangement if you use current source that time also it was symmetrical both gates were applied same bias but in this uh, current mirror configuration that uh, symmetry is lost because in case of this device drain is connected to a uh, gate but this device uh, it's not like that so the drain which is connected here to gate so this is like diode connected configuration and this diode connected configuration it's supplying bias to this device right so now uh, and now suppose if you want to find out output voltage this output voltage so this output voltage will be uh, like before uh, it's uh, vdd minus voltage drop across this device and the voltage drop across this device means source drain voltage of this device right so v is source drain voltage of this device so vdd minus this device right Uh, but the source drain voltage is equal to source drain voltage of this device with its current mirror mirror configuration and the current in these two are same m id uh, 3 is equal to id 4 so the drain source voltage of this device should be equal to drain source voltage of this device but uh, you see uh, drain source voltage of this device is equal to uh, the source gate voltage of this device right so its vsd is equal to its vsc so instead of writing here in this equation uh, vsd4 we can write here vsc3 because this uh, vsd is equal to vsd of this and vsd of this is equal to vsg of this device right so here first it will come vdd minus vsd4 and then this vsd4 will be replaced by uh, vsd3 and then this vsd3 will be replaced by vsg3 right because it's vsd and it's vsg is same
Now, uh, in the earlier case, we discussed uh, when there was no differential input signal was applied, Q, Q point, a zero signal condition, and now we will see what if what happens if a differential input signal is applied to the circuit. And uh, let's consider uh, differential input signal is applied. It means VID is zero, and uh, uh, sorry, VID is not zero. So because a differential input signal is applied, if VID is zero, in that case, uh, differential input signal is zero. Uh, but here it's not zero. It means uh, uh, some differential input signal is applied, and uh, let's assume that uh, uh, this VG1 is greater than VG2, right? Now, if this happens, now assume that half uh, part of uh, that differential input signal is applied to this input and uh, another half is applied to this input. So, in this case, so this is positive part and uh, this is negative component of differential input signal. So, and uh, here this VG1 is greater than VG2. So, what will happen? Current in this branch will increase. And suppose this current ID1 increases by delta I right by this much amount so if this current is increasing uh, the current in this branch will decrease right id2 will decrease and id2 will also decrease by the same amount same amount means delta i right so you can say that uh, id1 will be id plus delta i right and this id2 will be id minus delta i so we are considering here id because uh, uh, in zero signal condition current was same in two devices and that current is id and uh, when we are applying this differential input signal then current here is become id plus delta i so this current is increasing by this amount and uh, current in this branch is in decreasing by the same amount right and remember these arrows both are downward so uh, the different color indicates that here uh, they, these two currents are behaving in a different way so this current is uh, increasing and this current is decreasing and this arrow direction indicates the direction of current right so this direction of arrow arrow doesn't uh, indicate its behavior right? just direction that current is going from top to bottom in both the devices and different color indicates that uh, they have different behavior now what will happen so if uh, this current is increasing right so the current in this device will also increase and by the same amount and that with the current here will also increase by the same amount so the delta i increase is mirrored through m3 and m4 as an increase in id4 right so the current in these devices will also behave in the same way you see the current is downward in all the four devices but these three devices are shown in the same color means they their behavior is exactly same so all uh, these devices are showing some increase in the current by the same amount uh, but, but in this device the current is decreasing so id4 will also be given by this now you see here at this output node right so this output current so here the current is increasing it is id plus delta i and here the current is decreasing it is id minus delta i so if you want to find out the current at this output now so you can find out this output current is id4 minus id2 so this current minus this current so balance current will go towards this output node so you can put here id4 from this equation right and id2 from here you can take right and if you find out this difference this part will cancel right and what will left here so this will become plus 2 times delta i right so differential input signal when it changing so the current here becomes 2 times delta i right so that way uh, you can uh, say that the transconductance of the circuit is uh, almost like transconductance of a differential amplifier although here we are taking output at a single terminal and in case of differential amplifier we discussed before so we were taking differential output and uh, so the current was changing in branch by uh, delta i current in another branch was changing by delta i and that way the total change was 2 delta i uh, but here uh, even with a single output we are able to 
achieve similar kind of change in the output current for a given differential input signal. Now the next output voltage swing. So we have to see what are the maximum and uh, uh, okay. So first we will see input signals. So input signal uh, which are applied to this differential amplifiers are also same as uh, in case of uh, previously discussed uh, configurations. And uh, if we talk about output DC current, so output DC current uh, uh, that will be given by the same equations for the current uh, which we discussed earlier. And uh, remember that uh, whatever current is flowing here in this branch, same current will flow here in this branch, right? And in zero signal conditions, the current in this branch and this current in this branch will also be same. Now, if we talk about output, so this this case is for zero signal, right? For Q point, for Q point. right okay so output dc voltage so how to calculate this output dc voltage so uh, that uh, we discussed before also so this vd2 voltage here that will be vdd minus vds4 and this uh, we discussed in earlier also so vds4 can be replaced by vgs4 right because this vds4 will be equal to uh, this voltage right and uh, this voltage is equal to its uh, gate source voltage and gate source voltage of this device is equal to gate source voltage of this device right so that way uh, we can write the equation of the output voltage now uh, output voltage limits maximum and minimum output voltage we have to find out so first we will see what is the smallest output voltage possible in case of uh, this configuration so the purpose uh, we discussed before also the smallest output voltage will be calculated uh, by assuming that uh, this device have to be kept in saturation so uh, because if this voltage reduces below a certain level this device will not remain in the saturation right so for that purpose many times we have discussed that uh, drain source voltage of this device should be greater than its vgs minus vt and uh, this condition can be written like this also because this drain voltage here is your output voltage so uh, we can say that uh, uh, drain voltage minus source voltage and here gate voltage minus source voltage but uh, this terminal is common for this case for drain source voltage for gate source voltage so instead of uh, uh, keeping here source voltage here so that source voltage will cancel so we can simply say that uh, drain voltage should be greater than uh, vg minus vt and drain voltage is your output voltage so instead of vgs we are writing here vg so this is the condition uh, the uh, which decides that uh, the output voltage here right uh, should always be greater than this right so you can say this is the smallest output voltage so below this the output voltage should not go and this gate voltage is half of this differential input voltage so this is replaced by this okay so this is the smallest output voltage which we can allow here at this node and if we want to find out highest output voltage for highest output voltage <coughs> again we have to see that uh, if highest output voltage is occurring here, voltage is high here at that time, uh, the current in this branch is a uh, minimum and the minimum current is ID to zero, right? And when the current here in this branch is mi minimum mean zero, in that case the current here in this branch is maximum and the maximum current you know is uh, equal to ISS. The all the current which is flowing here that will flow here and uh, uh, then in that situation the voltage here is maximum so in order to keep this device in saturation right uh, the the output voltage cannot increase above a certain level because if output voltage goes very high then there is a uh, fear that this device uh, may go uh, out of saturation because this drain source voltage may become 
less than the gate source voltage of this device. So you see here now uh, this VST drain source voltage of this device should be greater than gate, uh, source gate voltage minus VT. So this is the condition for keeping this device in the saturation, right? Now uh, we can write this condition like this source drain voltage of this means uh, VDD minus V out because source is at VDD and output voltage uh, is at the drain this drain voltage is your output voltage so this ST can be replaced by this term now uh, we can move this this side because our purpose is to find out condition for the output voltage so if we move it towards this side uh, this is negative here so in order to make it positive we have to change sign of all the terms and then the symbol will also reverse so symbol will be like this and you see here this VSG4 is replaced by VSG3 because we know that VSG of this device and VSG of this device is same right so the source gate voltage and we know that the source gate voltage of this device is equal to its source drain voltage because uh, drain and gate are connected together so this equation can be written further like this so what we have done the source gate voltage sg3 is equal to source drain voltage and source drain voltage of this device uh, okay yes yeah uh, now so we can find out this source gate voltage very easily from the equation of current and the equation of current we know that uh, id is equal to k prime w by l or uh, a, a vgs minus vd square so from there we can find out vsg and uh, this vsg is given by this this part so the source gate voltage of this device is replaced by this term right and uh, you know that uh, this output voltage is high in that case this id here the current in this branch is equal to current in this branch and this current is equal to iss and the current here in this branch is zero so uh, we can say that uh, in that case uh, this id1 will be replaced by idss and these terms will cancel each other because uh, this is vt3 threshold voltage of this device and threshold voltage of this device and uh, these devices are also matched devices just like these two devices and since they are matched they have same threshold voltage so it will cancel and finally we will get this equation right so here we are assuming that the current in branch 0 and current in branch is equal to ISS for finding the maximum output voltage so now we have two condition this condition uh, for finding out the smallest output voltage and this condition for the uh, highest output voltage <coughs> <coughs> uh, now differential input signals many times we have considered we have discussed it that uh, the highest differential input also we have to find out and uh, the condition is that uh, the m1 and m2 both these devices will be in saturation and for that uh, we know that differential input signal should be within this range or we can write it like this also and uh, the variations are shown here we will not discuss uh, this point in detail because many times we have discussed it and now we will see its equivalent circuit now if we draw the equivalent circuit of this particular configuration so equivalent circuit is something like this you see here uh, this device is replaced by its equivalent circuit and this device is replaced by its equivalent circuit and we have uh, assumed this uh, virtual ground concept is valid in this configuration also so although this virtual ground concept is uh, used when there is a symmetrical arrangement of the uh, arrangement in these two branches and in this particular uh, configuration current mirror configuration if we are using as load then that symmetry is lost we discussed it earlier also but still uh, it's possible to use this virtual ground concept and uh, we will see that uh, we will not lose accuracy of our result if we are using this virtual ground concept here okay now you see uh, now this this part this diode connected configuration that is modeled here in this part right 
So we discussed it uh, before also that uh, this configuration diode connected when drain source connected together, then its uh, conductance part, right? So it's one by gm that will offer resistance, and uh, this is the resistance between drain and source of this. So these two resistor components are in the parallel, and in this configuration, this M4, this M4 is replaced by this particular configuration right so here you see so the, in the earlier case when we were using this uh, uh, constant current source in that case we were modeling it only with the help of a single resistor but here we are modeling this current source uh, with the help of this parallel combination the reason is that uh, in the earlier case this uh, gate voltage was a fixed gate voltage so uh, a fixed amount of current was flowing through this for a given gate voltage but here in this configuration the gate voltage is not fixed the gate voltage is coming from the uh, gate voltage or drain voltage of this device and drain voltage of this device will keep on changing according to the current here and the current here will keep on changing depending on the differential input signal so uh, the we can say that differential input signal is deciding the uh, drain voltage of this and that in turn is deciding the bias voltage of this so the bias voltage of this device is uh, not static it's dynamic it it is depending on the differential input signal so that's why uh, this current uh, this voltage dependent current source is also indicated here uh, because it's not uh, that uh, the constant current is not flowing here uh, you can say that the amount of current which is flowing here that is given by this equation gm4 into vg4 you can say or it's equal to vg3 also means this gate voltage of this device is deciding how much current will flow here and this vg3 uh, is uh, gate voltage of this device and this gate this this is equal to uh, drain voltage of this device so you can see that uh, this v not one is deciding the current here right now uh, this equivalent circuit can be uh, redrawn like this because this ground will come here and then this component will become in parallel with this component so this current source uh, this inverse of conductance here and these two components will come in parallel and then the same thing will happen here and now you can see that the current in this branch is dependent on VG3 and VG3 you can see here its gate is connected to drain so this VG3 is actually the voltage at this point so current in this branch depends on voltage at this point right so uh, you can see that uh, if we want to solve it for finding voltage gain and other important parameter like output resistance uh, we can use only this part because uh, we are not taking any output from here but we cannot ignore this uh, left side because uh, one branch here on the right side this particular branch the current in this branch will be decided by this voltage so in order to solve this uh, output voltage uh, we need to solve this part also because this part is deciding one important component of this side now let's find out voltage gain here the same uh, equivalent circuit is redrawn here and uh, so first we will find out how much is voltage here because this voltage is very important it will decide how much current is there in this branch so first we find out this voltage here the voltage vg3 or v01 is given by this equation so this is uh, input differential input signal and uh, this is the current here in this branch and this current is flowing like this in this direction so the voltage here will be negative right because current is going from this side to this side so this side is at higher potential as compared to this side so we will have this negative sign here now uh, for finding voltage here we need to find out current first this side right because here there are two current components not single one here there was a single current component so first we have to find out net current which is flowing here in this side and this net okay so so okay so this this voltage uh, is can be written like this also we'll discuss later. okay so the current here in this branch will be the sum of these two currents 
so the current because of this component so this current depends only on this uh, differential input voltage here and this current is moving like this in this direction right and uh, so now it's negative current here right so and if it is flowing in this negative current means it will go like this its direction will be like this so it will contribute this component and it's positive because this is negative so it which is negative means it will be here it is flow in the opposite direction like this right so this terminal will be at higher potential its current is flowing from here to here <coughs> now if we see uh, the, this particular component this particular component the current is moving like this uh, from this low potential to higher potential uh, so this current is contributing this negative component gm4 into vg3 so uh, for finding this component we have to put value of vg3 vg3 means this voltage and uh, this voltage is given by this equation right and remember here uh, for getting this part we ignore this because uh, this gm3 is very large or you can say because it's large so one by gm3 is very small as compared to these so only this component will dominate in this parallel combination and this will be uh, rejected it will be uh, ignored because this value these values are very large as compared to this so we will get only this part okay so now we will put this vg3 here in this equation and uh, then uh, we will find out the current here now output voltage here will be calculated like this right so the parallel combination of these resistances multiplied by i naught i naught current is flowing here and uh, this i naught uh, will be replaced by uh, this current like we put this value of vg3 from here to here and then we will get this i naught and uh, after putting all these values we will solve it further and you know that gm4 is equal to gm3 so that part and that part will cancel out and gm1 uh, is equal to gm2 it means this and this are also same so what you will get finally you will get like this so this gm will come out as common half vid plus half vid you will get only vid so that equation will give you the output voltage and if you are interested to find out differential gain so and differential gain is uh, we will divide this uh, differential output by differential input so this part will cancel and we will get this so the voltage gain will be given by this equation so but you see this here this voltage gain is uh, ex uh, is shown in term of parallel combination of output resistances sometime it is important and it is useful to represent this gain in term of conductances so if it happens it will be written like this so the gm is already conductance uh, transconductance so it will uh, remain same and this parallel combination of resistances will be re uh, replaced by the inverse of net conductance and net conductance is sum of uh, drain source resistance of second device and uh, drain source resistance of this fourth device m4 and you know that the gm and gds they are given by this equation so if these equations we put here in this we will get uh, more detailed equation of voltage gain now we will see how to find out output resistance so here we have only one output terminal uh, is pointer yes we, we have only one output terminal so if you want to find out output resistance we will connect a voltage source and one terminal the positive terminal of that voltage source will be connected here and the other terminal will, will be grounded you remember in earlier configurations when you were taking differential output at that time uh, one terminal was connected to one output and second terminal was connected to second output but here since we have only one output so positive terminal will be, will be connected here and negative side will be grounded <coughs> right and uh, then uh, we uh, we know that uh, how much voltage we are applying and how much current will flow here and from this we can find out the output resistance right we will apply ohm's law and we can find out output resistance but remember that when we do this at that time this input side is short circuited right it is connected to ground 
and here this is also connected to ground right like this now since here this is connected to ground so what will happen uh, uh, differential this input signal is zero so the current here is in this branch is zero and since there is no current here so this branch uh, will behave as it if not present here the same thing here this is can I considered as connected to ground so there is zero in input voltage here and if zero input voltage means zero current will flow in this branch right so there is nothing here no current here in this branch and what are about this branch current in this branch depends on vg3 and vg3 means the voltage here right and uh, since uh, no current is flowing here so the voltage here is also zero and if this voltage is zero it means current here in this branch is also zero and there is no current here right so now this circuit uh, will have only these two resistor components uh, this is uh, nothing is happening here nothing is happening here and this is not contributing because this output is connected only to this now the current which is flowing here that will go here and then it will be divided into two branches one part through this resistance and another part of this current will flow through this resistance right and it will go to ground like this so you can see that the resistance which is uh, which this uh, current is uh, facing that resistance is only the parallel combination of these two resistances no current here no current here and uh, no voltage here so all these are like redundant things so the output resistance of this configuration will be given simply like this so here it is written in term of r01 r03 because r01 is equal to r02 and r03 is equal to r04 so instead of this you can write it r02 in parallel with r04 that also is the same thing right so that way you can find out the output resistance of this particular configuration and uh, if we want to represent it in terms of conductances then it is uh, sum of uh, uh, sorry the inverse of sum of uh, transconduct uh, or sum of uh, sorry inverse of uh, sum of conductances of uh, m1 and m3 right so it is m3 not m2 it's m3 right like this and you know that this conductance output conductance is given by this equation so we can replace it with this also right so this is m1 this first this is third device like this now we will summarize so we have seen that uh, uh, the the circuit of uh, this um, current mirror load configuration is like this and its equivalent circuit is this and the differential mode output to voltage or differential mode voltage gain is given by this formula and uh, in, in term of uh, conductances it can be replaced like this uh, and uh, if we put the values of uh, these conductances here we can find out uh, that uh, this gain can be expressed in these detailed parameters w by l ratio that can be used to control and differential output resistance is given by this and in term of uh, uh, the device parameters lambda and lambda 2 so the this equation of resistance can be expressed with this also now you see these configurations which we discussed till now all configurations are written here so if we see this configuration dot connected load see this uh, uh, single added output voltage gain was becoming half of the volt differential output voltage gain so here in the current source load the gain was increasing right but still you see if you go for single ended output uh, this uh, gain was uh, re uh, reducing to half of the differential output voltage gain mm -hmm. but in case of current mirror you see we are taking i'm writing here ad because uh, only ad exists here and if you want to compare it with this you you, you should also assume here it's the uh, single ended because it's single ended output always it's single ended output in case of current mirror configuration so here you see 
this half term is not there right so you can see that uh, uh, from the comparison of all these three you can see that uh, this uh, single ended output is possible here without any compromise with the gain the difference and uh, the, the gain here is almost equal to the differential output voltage gain obtained in case of this current source load so again i am repeating same thing that uh, this particular circuit topology where we are, have used current mirror as load uh, we are able to uh, perform this conversion from uh, differential to single ended output and there is no loss of gain right so i hope that this concept is clear to you thank you thank you very much